a doctor who even very heavy traffic could not delay to perform a surgery on time. Now, this happened on 30th of August. This is where Dr. Govind Nandakumar, who is a surgeon, he had to leave his car in traffic and run three kilometers to get to the hospital so that he could perform an emergency surgery on time. Uh, where did he get stuck in traffic? He got stuck at the Sarjatpur Marathalli stretch. Now, this will usually take 10 minutes for him to reach, but he just looked at his Google Maps, saw you know, that it wasn't moving, it showed 45 minutes. He decided he would be late, better to get out of the car. Well, he didn't have his running shoes. And what he's telling me in this interview ahead is that he'd be much more comfortable if he had his running shoes and that he didn't have to run his, his work shoes. Uh, doctor, thank you very much for your time here on Mirror Now. First things first, your dash has made national headlines. Uh, were you expecting this? Not at all. Uh, I was just focused on taking care of my patient and getting my job done. Um, I actually ended up sharing it in my uh, hospital doctor group just, you know, because so many doctors were frustrated that day. Some of them didn't get to work till 1 or 2 p.m. Uh, when they're supposed to, you know, they had work at 9 or 8.30, whatever. So I just shared it out of that and then the hospital people picked it up. So it was not something uh, I intended to do. Yeah. Uh, what made you ditch the car in the first place. Just how bad was the traffic? I know Bangalore is famed for its terrible traffic, but just how bad was it? See, I, I live in central Bangalore and I travel to, I work out of Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. And that particular day I was traveling to Sarjapur uh, to start a case. I had some cases there and to see patients. The commute generally takes anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes to Sarjapur, depending on the traffic. And the last stretch, which is where I was, usually takes about five to ten minutes at most. Uh, this particular day, given the rains, uh, the Bangalore face the prior night, uh, traffic was standstill, not moving at all. Uh, Google sh on the maps showed about 45 minutes of commute time. And the, it wasn't changing. You know, ten minutes later, it still showed 45 so at that point, uh, I stepped out of the car, looked ahead. There didn't seem any hope because there was a gridlock, you know, multiple roads, etc. So I said, you know, I saw a vacant road on the right side. So I crossed over and said, you know, let me uh, just run over because I can get there faster. Mm. Uh, my car took two and a half hours to reach. Uh, but, you know, I was able to get there, uh, take care of the patient, do the surgery. Uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't want the patient to wait around, uh, waiting for the anesthesia. They can't have food to eat. You know, they're in some of, some amount of pain waiting for the surgery. So uh, I know, like I said, I know doctors who reached, you know, 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon mm. uh, because of the gridlock traffic that day. I'm fairly certain the patient was glad that you decided to run it and not sort of guard it as it were. Uh, were your staff, colleagues in hospital surprised at all when you reached huffing and puffing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is that I run or work out every day, so uh, three kilometers is, is a very doable distance for me. Mm. So uh, aside from having to run in my work shoes and work clothes, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't out of the books for me. Mm. Uh, and uh, I ran up straight to the changing room and washed up and got into the scrubs to start the surgery. So, uh, of course, they were, they were kind of uh, amused and kind of... Uh, empathetic uh, that I had to do that to get to the surgery. Uh, was the patient you were operating upon aware at all, even after the surgery, that you had run three kilometers for 45 minutes to uh, operate upon her? You, 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 you know what? I'm not one to... Uh, uh, I, I don't even know if she knew that I had to run over there to do the surgery. Mm. Uh, because I'm not one to talk about stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to get there, get her surgery done. And, you know, as doctors, we we take care of all patients equally. You know, it doesn't matter for us. For us, uh, it's part of our Hippocratic Oath to, you know, do the right thing for every patient, no matter who they are. And uh, whatever it takes, I, I, I think this is a lovely message that can go out to the community. Most, if not all doctors, you know, Treat patients with their heart. You know, you, you don't really do it for, for, uh, for anything more than that. 
So, uh, and it, it helps us most when patients understand that, that you know, the, that compassion and feeling is what doctors come to patients with. Uh, and doctor, before I let you go, I know you're a busy man. A word about Bangalore's traffic. We know it's a headache for almost everyone. Many of your colleagues, you say, regularly get, you know, late getting to hospital. Any word on this horrible traffic at all? The, the traffic is us. I mean, if there aren't so many people here, there, there would be traffic. Mm. But I think uh, if we all did our little bit, the authorities helped us, the corporations helped us. I think that uh, we, ca we can transform the city. And l let, let's accept it. Every major city in the world has traffic issues. New York City has traffic issues. The West Coast around LA has major traffic issues. The difference is that our tra traffic is, is a bit disorganized and our infrastructure is not keeping up with where the city is now. So I think we need to address those two things. Doctor, thank you very much. I'm fairly certain you have inspired many, many pe people and I hope uh, uh, Bangalore's administration is watching this story and feeling a little ashamed about themselves given the fact that here is a doctor who had to actually run three kilometers to get to his patient and perform a critical surgery. We leave it there for the moment. Dr. Nandgopal, thank you very much for your time here on Mirror Now.